hundreds of artworks, possibly worth millions, discovered in the trash. Imagine a hidden world, frozen in time for over 70 years. In 1939, just before World War II began, an ordinary apartment in a quiet European city was sealed off, its occupants disappearing into the wartime chaos. While life went on outside, time inside seemed to stop. Now, after decades of silence, a long-lost key is found, offering a chance to unlock not just a door, but a treasure collection of forgotten history and stories. Join us as we delve into 20 of the most astonishing discoveries of valuable things found in abandoned places. Number 20. Precious Belgian Coins While demolishing a crumbling, centuries-old house in the region of Brittany, France, a group of construction workers made an unexpected and thrilling discovery. Behind a wall that had stood untouched for generations, they stumbled upon a heavy, sealed lead case. Curious and eager to see what was inside, they shook the box and heard a clicking sound. Upon prying it open, they were astonished to find 600 gleaming Belgian gold coins dating back to the 1870s, each one adorned with the face of King Leopold II, the notorious ruler of Belgium, known for his controversial colonization of the Congo. These rare coins, minted during a period of European imperialism and economic expansion, were likely hidden away for safekeeping, possibly during a period of political unrest or financial uncertainty. The total value of the coins is estimated to be around 100,000 euros today, making the discovery both historically significant and highly valuable. After realizing the significance of their discovery, the workers immediately called the French police to investigate further. The authorities, recognizing the potential cultural and historical value, quickly sealed off the site to prevent any tampering. Interestingly, the owner of the property was not surprised by the find. His grandfather had been an avid coin collector, and there had always been family stories about hidden treasures. Number 19. Masterpiece in the Trash In 2003, a woman named Elizabeth Gibson came across a discarded painting during her morning walk in Manhattan's Upper West Side. Intrigued by the artwork, she decided to take it home, unaware that she had just found a modern art masterpiece titled Tres Personajes by renowned Mexican artist Rufino Tamayo. Although Gibson didn't initially grasp the painting's importance, she spent four years trying to learn more about it. Her persistence paid off when she discovered that the artwork had been featured on the popular PBS show Antiques Roadshow where it was described as a missing masterpiece that had been stolen back in 1989. The painting's journey was quite dramatic. Originally purchased in 1977 by a Houston collector for $55,000 as a gift for his wife, it was stolen from storage a decade later, while the couple was moving to a new home. The widow, who wished to remain anonymous, eventually decided to sell the painting after her husband's death. In an auction at Sotheby's Latin American Art Department, an anonymous American collector placed a phone bid and bought Tres Personajes for a staggering $1,049,000. Rufino Tamayo, the artist behind this vibrant piece, was born in 1899 in Oaxaca, Mexico, and passed away in 1991. As a reward for returning the painting, Gibson received 15,000 and was also entitled to a percentage of its sale. Number 18. Michael Jackson's unreleased tracks. Two adventurous treasure hunters made an astonishing discovery while exploring a storage unit that had once belonged to Joe Jackson, the father of pop legend Michael Jackson. This unit, long abandoned and packed away in obscurity, turned out to hold a treasure collection of unreleased music that would captivate fans and music historians alike. As the hunters dug through the cluttered unit, they unearthed an incredible 250 previously unheard tracks by Michael Jackson. Among these were several collaborations with the legendary Tina Turner, offering a tantalizing glimpse into what could have been a powerhouse musical partnership. The collection also included 25 full albums of unreleased songs, revealing a wealth of material that had never seen the light of day. Interestingly, these tracks were recorded during periods when Michael Jackson was not bound by a record contract, 
making them part of a gray area in terms of ownership and rights. This situation arises from the fact that Jackson often recorded music during contract breaks, leaving a significant amount of material that was not officially released. The find is not only a musical jackpot, but also a complex legal puzzle, as no one can currently lay claim to the tracks due to their status during Jackson's contract-free periods. Number 17. Batman in the Basement While clearing out his great-aunt's house in Virginia, Michael Rohrer made a remarkable discovery in the most unexpected place. Hidden among the dusty old boxes and forgotten heirlooms was a collection of comic books that had once belonged to his late uncle. At first glance, these seemed like mere colorful paper, possibly overlooked by many as just relics of a bygone era. However, Michael's curiosity led him to investigate further. He soon realized that this collection included some incredibly rare and valuable issues. Among them was Detective Comics number 27, which holds a special place in comic book history as the debut of Batman. This comic, first published in 1939, is one of the most coveted items among collectors due to its historical significance and rarity. The collection also featured other prized issues from the golden age of comics, a period renowned for its classic superhero stories and iconic characters. For example, Action Comics No. 1, which introduced Superman in 1938, is another highly sought-after gem that could have been part of the collection. In 2012, Michael's astonishing find was sold at auction in New York for a staggering $3,500,000, setting a record for comic book sales at the time. Number 16. Bronze-Aged Sword In 1965, along the banks of a river in Northern Ireland, a farmer was casually fishing when he stumbled upon an old sword. At first glance, he didn't see anything special about it, so he tossed it into his toolbox and stored it away in an old shed on his farm, where it would stay forgotten for more than 50 years. Then, in 2017, as the farmer and his brother Maurice became more involved in the Battle Bricks and Bridges project, they began researching the debated location of the 1594 Battle of the Fort of the Biscuits, which took place at the Arnie River. As they delved deeper into their research, they remembered the old, rusty sword that had been lying in the shed for decades. Curious, they retrieved the artifact and decided to have it evaluated by experts. To their astonishment, the sword turned out to be a priceless artifact, dating back an incredible 2,600 years to the Bronze Age. The farmer realized the immense value of his find, not just in terms of its age, but also in its significance to the people of Arnie. The sword, believed to have belonged to a warrior, was deliberately broken before being thrown into the river. Understanding its importance, they decided to donate the rare sword to a local museum, where it could be appreciated by everyone. Number 15. Sroda Treasure In 1988, a construction worker in Sroda Slaska, Poland, found something unexpected while renovating an old telephone exchange. At first, he thought he had hit some old milk bottle caps. But what he discovered was a treasure collection of gold and silver coins, jewels, and even a golden crown from the 14th century, worth about $6,900,000. The treasure included over 4,000 gold coins minted in Prague and other places. When news of the find spread, the public rushed to grab as many coins as they could. However, the police soon intervened conducting house-to-house -house searches to recover the scattered treasure. The government initially tried to buy the treasure back from those who had taken it, sending archaeologists to search for more hidden pieces. More coins and other unique items like brooches and pendants were eventually uncovered in the building's basement. The golden crown was the key piece, helping historians trace the treasure back to the 1340s. It once belonged to Emperor Charles IV of the House of Luxembourg, who had pawned it to a Jewish banker in Sroda. After the banker disappeared during a plague, no one claimed the treasure for centuries, until it was accidentally unearthed again. Number 14. Body in a Casket In May 2016, a remarkable find occurred during a home renovation in San Francisco. As workers ripped up the floorboards, they unexpectedly uncovered a small casket. 
Inside was the mummified body of a young girl who had passed away around 145 years earlier. The casket was just three feet long and one foot wide, and the girl, estimated to be between three and five years old, was in surprisingly good condition. The new homeowners quickly contacted the authorities, prompting the San Francisco medical examiner to investigate. It was discovered that the house had been built in the late 19th century, roughly around the time of the girl's death. Over the years, the home had several owners, none of whom had known about the casket. Examination of the remains suggested that the girl likely died from natural causes, possibly related to malnutrition or disease. A small rose found in her hand hinted that she might have come from a wealthy family. Despite widespread public interest and various theories about her death, her identity remained a mystery until 2018. After extensive research and DNA testing, it was revealed that the girl was Edith Howard Cook, born in 1873. Her family was well known in San Francisco, with her father being a prominent businessman. Number 13. Thornberry Horde. The Thornberry Horde is one of the most remarkable archaeological finds in recent years. Discovered by a metal detectorist in Thornberry, South Gloucestershire in 2020, this hoard is a treasure trove of Anglo-Saxon silver coins. Dating back to the early 11th century, a period when the Gallianis and Constantinian dynasties ruled over England, it is among the largest collections of coins ever unearthed, containing over 11,000 individual pieces. The discovery of the Thornberry hoard happened unexpectedly. In 2004, a man named Ken Allen was digging a pond in his backyard when he came across something extraordinary a buried stash of silver coins that had lain hidden underground for a millennium. These coins, which range from pennies to half pennies, are all made of silver. They feature images of kings and other royalty on one side, and various religious symbols on the other. Despite being buried for so long, the coins are remarkably well preserved. Experts believe that this hoard was hidden during the early 11th century, likely around the time when King Nut was on the throne. The Thornberry Horde not only provides a fascinating glimpse into the past, but also highlights the rich history of England during this era. Number 12. Marta de Florian's Portrait Marta de Florian's Parisian apartment, once a vibrant hub of high society, had remained untouched and locked away for over 70 years, even before World War II. This forgotten time capsule, hidden behind dusty walls and moth-eaten furnishings, had preserved a piece of history in an almost eerie state of preservation. The apartment belonged to Marta de Florian, a French socialite who had fallen out of public memory as time marched on. However, in 2010, the name Marta de Florian dramatically resurfaced. When experts finally pried open the doors of her long abandoned apartment, they unearthed an extraordinary treasure, a captivating portrait of Marta herself painted by the renowned Italian artist Giovanni Boldini in 1898. Boldini, known for his elegant and sensual portraits of Parisian society, had captured Marta's beauty and grace in this masterpiece. What made the discovery even more intriguing was a handwritten note from Boldini on the back of the painting, which suggested a deeper, possibly romantic connection between the artist and his subject. The portrait was not just a visual delight, but a key to a forgotten piece of Parisian history. The painting's revelation set off a flurry of excitement and speculation. Its value skyrocketed, and in 2014, it was auctioned for an astonishing $2,900. Million. Number 11, 300-year-old doorstop. More than 25 years ago, a valuable piece of history was grossly overlooked and misused. This was the bust of Sir John Gordon, a prominent figure who served as the Secretary of Scotland in the late 18th century. The bust itself was a masterpiece, sculpted in 1728 by the renowned French artist Edmé Bouchardon. Despite its significance, the bust was purchased by Inver Gordon in the 1920s for a mere five euros and was casually placed as a decorative item in the town hall. However, about 70 years later, the bust's fate took a surprising turn. A woman named Maxine Smith stumbled upon it in an old abandoned shed in Banff, 
where it had been relegated to the lowly job of a doorstop. Covered in dust and grime, the once prized sculpture looked like nothing more than a piece of junk. Maxine confessed that she couldn't even identify what kind of artwork it was and who could blame her. It was in such a sorry state that its true value was unrecognizable. But in 2016, this forgotten treasure was rediscovered and given the recognition it deserved. The bust was displayed at the Louvre in Paris, where it was appraised at a staggering 1,900,000 euros. Number 10. Rare Diamond Rings Alex Archbold, an antique shop owner from Canada, made a jaw-dropping discovery that changed his life. He bought the contents of a house for just $10,000, thinking it would be a quirky adventure for his YouTube channel. The house, once owned by a deceased piano teacher, was initially meant to be a simple inspection of an old 1964 Cadillac parked in the garage. Typically, Alex would have checked out the house before making such a purchase, but this time he didn't. What awaited him inside was far beyond his wildest expectations. Instead of a dusty old home, Alex found a treasure trove packed with valuables. Hidden within the house were vintage gold and diamond rings, designer clothing from high-end brands like Chanel and Burberry, silver dollars and cash from the 1920s, and even a hefty 100-ounce silver bar. As Alex explored the house and documented his finds, he realized the collection was worth around $400,000. It turned out to be his most profitable investment ever. Although he usually buys the contents of old homes to share his discoveries on YouTube, he had been told this piano teacher had a modest income, so he was not expecting much. What truly caught his eye, though, was the grand piano in the home, which added a fascinating touch to his unexpected treasure hunt. Number 9. A Copy of a Classic Video Game In 2019, Scott Amos from California stumbled upon an unopened copy of Kid Icarus, a classic video game from 1987, while clearing out his childhood home's attic. For about 15 years, his mother had been asking him to sort through some old boxes, but he only recently got around to it. To his surprise, he found the Nintendo game still nestled in a J.C. Penney shopping bag from three decades earlier. The receipt dated December 8, 1988, suggested it might have been a Christmas gift that never got given. Family members had their theories about how the game ended up in the attic. His mother assumed that she might have put it there and simply forgotten about it. Back in 1987, the game cost $38, which would be roughly $80 today. After discovering the game, Scott placed it on his kitchen counter, intending to consult with experts about its value. What he initially thought would fetch a few hundred dollars at most ended up selling for an astounding $9,000 in an online auction hosted by Heritage Auctions, known for comics and comic art. Number 8. Criminal's Treasure In 1991, notorious drug lord Pablo Escobar was killed in a police shootout. After his death, authorities raided his luxurious mansion in Medellin, Colombia, in search of evidence and seized assets. What they found exceeded their expectations. A hidden stash of cash worth millions, estimated at around $20 billion. The money was concealed in walls, ceilings, and underground safes, shocking the world and adding to Escobar's reputation as a criminal mastermind. Escobar, who led the Medellin Cartel, a powerful organization that controlled much of the cocaine trade between Colombia and the United States in the 1980s, was infamous for his violent tactics, including bombings, kidnappings, and assassinations. The cash found was believed to be just a fraction of his vast fortune, amassed through drug trafficking, money laundering, and other illegal activities. It's unclear why Escobar kept so much cash in his home, but some believe he was planning to use it to flee the country or bribe officials. After the discovery, the Colombian government seized the money and allocated it to social projects like education and housing for the poor. However, allegations of corruption and mismanagement surrounded the handling of the funds. Number 7. Movie Posters During a renovation of a Cardiff home previously owned by a relative of a renowned film mogul, 
two builders stumbled upon an astonishing discovery. 66 vintage cinema posters from the 1930s and 1940s. Remarkably, these posters had been ingeniously repurposed as carpet padding, which had preserved them incredibly well from light and damage. The collection featured striking artwork with Hollywood icons such as Laurence Olivier, Boris Karloff, Vivian Lee, and John Wayne. Among the treasures was a 1939 poster for the classic Western Stagecoach, starring John Wayne, which sold for an impressive 37,200 euros. Horror enthusiasts were excited to see a 1940 poster for Black Friday, featuring Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi. This chilling piece fetched 1,440 euros, thanks to its eerie allure and star-studded cast. Another highlight was a poster for Alfred Hitchcock's 1940 film, Foreign Correspondent, celebrated for its suspenseful narrative and early cinematographic techniques. Originally showcased at Cardiff's esteemed Capital Empire and Olympia Cinemas from 1936 to 1941, these posters are a vibrant piece of the city's cinematic heritage. After being kept for over 30 years, the builders auctioned off the collection, turning their incredible find into a significant profit and bringing a thrilling chapter to a close for these hidden gems. Number 6. Hundred of Arts in a Barn Francis Hines was an underappreciated artist from Connecticut who dedicated much of his life to creating a distinctive style of art that combined the abstract with the mechanical, often using his barn as his creative haven. Known as the Rapper, because he practices wrapping buildings and objects in fabric as part of his art installations, Heinz's works were largely unknown to the wider art world during his lifetime. However, everything changed a year after his death in 2016. Jared Whipple, a mechanic, received a surprising call from a contractor clearing out an old barn in Watertown, Connecticut. The contractor had come across a large collection of abandoned canvases and sculptures wrapped in plastic and thought Whipple, with his interest in cars, might appreciate them. When Jared arrived, he found hundreds of artworks, many featuring abstract depictions of car parts, gears, and machinery. With the permission of Heinz's two sons, Jared took the entire collection home. He spent the next four years researching Heinz's life and art, gradually piecing together the story of an artist whose work had been all but forgotten. Jared's research led him to art historians and experts who confirmed that the collection was, in fact, a lost treasure collection worth millions of dollars. Fortunately for Jared, Heinz's family had generously given him the green light to sell the artworks, allowing him to keep all the proceeds. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the heart of New York City, nestled between two bustling skyscrapers, stood an unremarkable apartment building. For over 70 years, one apartment remained locked and untouched since 1939. Legends swirled among locals about its mysterious closure, but curiosity was fleeting until a recent renovation unearthed the forgotten space. When the old key finally turned in the rusty lock, the door creaked open to reveal a scene frozen in time. Inside, the apartment was perfectly preserved. Dusted lace curtains, a vintage radio softly humming the jazz of yesteryears, and a dining table set for two, complete with a 1939 newspaper detailing the World's Fair. But the most astounding find was a stack of unopened letters, each addressed to a Miss Evelyn Harper. As the letters were read, a remarkable story unfolded. Evelyn, a young artist, had disappeared mysteriously just before World War II. Her letters revealed a secret rendezvous with a lover, a secret so precious that she chose to lock herself away rather than reveal it. The final letter was a heartfelt goodbye, hinting at a hidden treasure, her masterpiece painting. Just as the discovery was about to become the city's sensation, a hidden compartment in the floorboards was uncovered, revealing an exquisite painting. It depicted Evelyn herself, looking timelessly serene. The painting was not just art, it was a symbol of lost love and a piece of history preserved for decades, now ready to enchant a new generation. What was the secret that compelled her to vanish without a trace? Let us have your opinions in the comment below. Number 5. 
497 gold coins in the rafter. In a quaint corner of France, a routine workday turned into a historic adventure for a group of factory workers. In February 2012, while renovating an old winery building that had been abandoned for about 80 years, the workers stumbled upon a hidden treasure. They were hired by Francois Long, a champagne producer and company owner. During the renovation, one worker accidentally struck the ceiling with his crowbar, and to his surprise, something heavy fell onto his hard hat. What seemed like ordinary debris turned out to be something extraordinary. Hundreds of gold coins that had been hidden away in the rafters for decades. The workers unearthed a total of 497 gold coins, each neatly packed in bags of 50. These coins were minted between 1851 and 1928. It was later revealed that the winery had once been owned by a French wine producer in the 1930s, who had long since passed away. With no heirs to claim the treasure, the company owner, Francois Long, decided to keep half of the gold for himself and distribute the other half among the lucky workers who had made the incredible discovery. The total value of the gold was estimated at around $1 million, turning an ordinary day of work into a life-changing moment. Number 4. Treasure Safe Matthew and Maria Kalana Emmanuel, a couple from Staten Island, made a remarkable discovery while working in their backyard. As they were planting trees, they came across what they initially believed to be an old electrical box. But when they opened it, they were in for a big surprise. It was a hidden safe containing treasures valued at $52,000. Inside, they found bundles of $100 bills, glittering jewelry, diamonds, gold, and pieces of jade. The safe had been buried for years, its presence revealed only after a deer had chewed on the trees, clearing enough foliage to expose it. Among the items inside, they found a note with an address in Brooklyn, which turned out to belong to one of their neighbors. Curious, Matthew and Maria approached the neighbor to ask if they had ever experienced a burglary. To their amazement, the neighbor confirmed that their home had been broken into years earlier, at 2011. Rather than keeping the treasure for themselves, Matthew and Maria decided to return everything to its rightful owner. The neighbor suspected that a notorious thief known as the Ninja Burglar, Robert Costanzo, who had committed around 160 burglaries, was behind the crime. Number 3. The Waiting Cat One day, an explorer wandered through the wilderness and stumbled upon a lone, abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. What he discovered inside was both chilling and heartbreaking. A small, lifeless cat lay on the bed in what had once been its owner's bedroom, as if still waiting for its beloved person to come home. At first, the explorer thought it was just another derelict building, one of many he had explored, left to decay in the harsh elements. But as he stepped inside, he sensed something different about this place. The air was thick with the musty smell of neglect and decay, and it was clear no one had been here for a very long time. As he ventured through the rooms, he finally reached the bedroom. There, on the bed, lay the cat. At first glance, the explorer assumed it was just another dead animal abandoned to rot. But as he got closer, he noticed the cat's eyes were open, and it seemed to be waiting for someone to come back. It was as if this small creature had been left behind, waiting patiently for its owner, who never returned. The sight of the cat, so still and forlorn, waiting for a person who would never come, struck the explorer with a profound sense of sorrow. Number 2. Ring with Charlotte In 2021, a small but remarkable gold ring was uncovered in a Scottish attic. Inside it was a lock of hair believed to be from the famous author Charlotte Bronte. This ring, hidden away for decades, had been passed down through the family of Arthur Bell Nichols, Bronte's husband. The discovery of this ring stunned the literary community and reignited fascination with Bronte's life and her works. Charlotte Bronte, best known for her classic novels such as Jane Eyre and Villette, 
remains a beloved figure in English literature. Her stories, filled with rich characters and gripping plots, have enchanted readers for generations. Yet, despite her literary fame, Bronte herself remains somewhat enigmatic. She passed away at the young age of 38, leaving behind only a handful of personal writings. This ring is a rare and personal artifact that offers a unique window into Bronte's private life. In the 19th century, it was common for people to keep locks of hair from loved ones as cherished keepsakes, a way to remember them. The fact that this ring remained hidden for so long adds to its mystery, sparking curiosity about Bronte's relationships and her inner world. For fans of Bronte, the ring represents a tangible connection to a treasured author whose work continues to inspire. Number 1. Mayan Relics Found in Garbage Nick DiMola, a junk removal specialist based in New York, had an unexpected stroke of luck one day that changed his life. Known for clearing out old estates and hauling away unwanted items, Nick stumbled upon a hidden treasure that didn't seem like much at first glance. In 2004, while cleaning out the basement of an abandoned estate in Manhattan, Nick came across a plastic bag filled with old clay figurines, bowls, and jugs. To the untrained eye, these items looked like nothing more than junk, dusty, unattractive, and seemingly destined for the garbage truck. However, something about the ancient-looking artifacts caught Nick's attention, and he decided to store them in his warehouse rather than discard them. For five years, these curious pieces remained untouched and forgotten in his storage. Then, one day, Nick rediscovered them and decided to dig a little deeper. To his absolute astonishment, his research revealed that these were not just any old artifacts. They were ancient Mayan relics, over 2,300 years old. Even more shocking was their value. The seemingly worthless items were appraised at $16,500 at the time. Which of these discoveries amazed you the most? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.